What is going on YouTube? It's been a while. I feel like I haven't made a video in forever. Um, I know I was backlogged with some videos, so it took me a while to get caught up. Now we're back. Um, fortunately, I missed last week's video, but this was a video I've really been wanting to do, and I didn't want to rush it, anything like that. So, um, here we are. It is going to be a bit of an unboxing video and a hybrid um, with kind of a time lapse as I try and put together that tree. Uh, unfortunately, the Monte Carlo got a second round of hair algae. Wasn't too happy with how that was going, so I decided to switch and I'm going to try something else. Um, this one's a lot more pricey, of course, but... Uh, I hope it works out, I hope it makes the tank a lot easier, more manageable to deal with, and then I can start moving on with the next round, which is the fish, which I've already got some of, but you guys will have to wait for the monthly update to see what that will be. Anyway, uh, we're going to do an unboxing, another one from Busey Plant. I am getting a bunch of Busa philandra, so for those of you who don't know what that is, Busa philandra is similar to Anubius, um, I think they're out of like Bangladesh, Borneo, something like that, um, they are a pretty, what most people would consider an easy care plant, they are also easier to flower, I've heard. I haven't gotten any of mine to yet, but we will see, hopefully, uh, down the road here, uh, if I can get any of them to flower. Anyway, the, uh, they are pretty easy to care. They come in lots of different varieties, all kinds of crazy names, brownie ghost, um, ketagang, purple, or something like that. Anyway, there's tons and tons of different varieties of them, so lots of different leaf shapes. Um, downside, unfortunately, is that they are n not being farmed a lot currently because they're pretty new to the market, and they are being over-harvested in their native countries, which is unfortunate. Um, now, some people would argue it's hard to find a credible source. I can't speak for Busey Plants credibility as to where they get theirs from. If it is the unfortunate case of being over-harvested, uh, I guess I would be guilty of that, and I apologize, of course. But my here's my two cents, is that if that is the case, at the very least, we can hopefully get them into the hands of some seasoned aquarist. Not really saying I'm that seasoned, but I've had some luck with some plants recently. Um to try and propagate them, grow them, multiply them, and therefore there will be more farmed ones in the market so that we won't have the need for these over-harvesting in their native countries. Uh, so that is something I'm kind of working on with this tank. Anyway, um, I've got a lot of different varieties. I'm going to break this box open because I haven't gotten to see anything yet, and I'm super excited. Uh, I have a strong suspicion that this is not going to be enough and I will either have to get more or just be very patient. We'll just have to see how much space needs to be filled in. So anyway, without any further ado, here we go. Here's the box. And then you guys will get to see me attempt putting this all back on the tree. Another nice sticker, maybe? I'm not really sure. This is a weird, like, feeling material, so um, might be a sticker. I'm not entirely sure myself. Anyway, moving on. As always, packing list, great. Keeps it easy for me to look, see what I got, try and identify some of these for you all. As always, another sticker from Juicy Plant. I haven't figured out where I'm going to put the first one, but hopefully that is... Maybe a computer or something. Not sure. Anyway, uh, of course, a DOA policy, which I appreciate because this has worried me. I didn't add a heat pack, but I hopefully ship them. They ship fast enough that it didn't die. So anyway, this will be our first one. Let's see if this 
focus is. This will be Kessel Dark Green. So look a lot for rounder lobes. There's lots of ones with like wrinkled edges, um, more narrow leaves, things like that. So they again, they come in all different shapes and sizes. This one, um, it's more rounded, I would say, and it has that darker green color that I think will be good on a treetop kind of canopy idea. So then right here we have the black pearl. So it, it'll probably take some time for these guys to start differentiating themselves, uh, depending whether they are immersed grown or not. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, again, it looks pretty similar to the Kessel Dark Green, which I expect out of most of these, because they are smaller, they need some more time to grow, and they also could be immersed grown, which means they need, their leaves need to kind of transform, if you will. Anyway, um, Purple Mini, I got a mini clump of this, so this would be three to five plants, this is a little bit more expensive, the other ones were only ten leaves, this is supposed to be three to five plants, I'm not really entirely sure what that means in the long run, other than just more um, but you can see there's a nice clump, uh, that way hopefully it'll fill in with more leaves, which I can see a few little sprouts already growing, and you do see a little more color differentiation in this purple blue. So we'll see if it actually turns purple blue, but, uh, that'll be a hope. Um, so I think that'll work out well. Again, all of these are going to be pretty similar. Um, this one looks like brownie blue. So this guy, um, this might be a little too big leaves. Like these leaves may be a little too large for what I want. So this could end up actually going either into the 4D tall here as one of the plants along the side. Or more likely, I will put it in that guy as just some kind of other type of fern idea and let that start growing. Actually, it looks like I have two separate plants here, so I might cut this off and uh, start two different plants. So we'll see. Maybe put them in both things. All right, on to the next one anyway. So this doesn't take 30 years for you to watch this video. I'm not trying to make a movie here. Anyway. All right, so this one, this is a peacock. I actually like the different colors. You can actually see some different shades of green in there. And this one I may actually put, I think I'm gonna put it in the tree um, just cause I really need all of these plants to go in the tree so that it's a nice full effect. But um, there is a chance down the road I may add that into the, uh, Fluval Flex here so that it can grow in there as well because I do like I do like that idea for as kind of another fern type. Ooh, this looks like it's a three to five clump. So this is a purple blue. Oh my. This says six to ten leaves, which if I'm being perfectly honest, this is way more than six to ten leaves. So that's really nice. I'm super happy with this just really nice clump of purple blue there so I re thank you Busey plant um, there's a lot I got I definitely got uh, a lot on some of these orders I can tell that they are well full M many more leaves than what I was purchasing which is always appreciated so here's another mini uh, a clump this is mini coin these have really small round leaves, so that's kind of why I got it. I wanted some of those smaller leaves to help fill in different areas as needed. Uh, those small leaves can really help fill in some tougher spots in that tree. So now we have brownie jade. Um, and I'm really going through all of these just so... I know it looks repetitive, but just so you guys get the idea that there are many different kinds, they come in many different shapes and sizes, and um, 
hopefully to educate you all or get you guys interested in something like that. Uh, so maybe you could look into getting some of your own down the road. Uh, so this brownie jade, uh, again, rounder leaves, kind of a bit more elongated with a bit of a crinkle, you can tell right there. And it does have a very dark green color. So it may end up being more green or a uh, more brown rustic red looking color as it gets a bit more full or gets under some better lighting we will have to see all right so this is brownie phoenix this one actually came in a pot so the pot ones are about the same price as a mini clump with about the same amount as a mini clump um, it's just much more compact but i appreciate that because it'll be multiple different little plants, so I can put them in multiple different spots. Uh, you do see some different colors in there, and some a nice striation pattern, I can tell as well. So that's really cool. Um, right here we have dark green wavy. So looking at it right now, this looks like it's going to be a bit too big in terms of leaves. So this one may end up... Ooh, and a special gift, this one already has a flower. So that's what a Busa philander flower looks like a lot. I think they can come in different colors, but usually they're pretty small, something like that. And I do know that white's pretty common. Anyway, some of this is definitely going to go in the 40 tall, but probably along the rock work. Some of this is definitely going to go into the Fluval Flex. And if I still have some left, I may even put it into my 40 breeder to try and grow some more of this because I really like the way this looks. Uh, unfortunately, it's too big and too dark for the tree itself or for the idea I'm going for, but it will definitely go excellent in some other spots. And I really do like the fact that it is just like super dark, um, that really dark forest green. All right, so now we have Lamandau Mini Purple. So these are going to have really small leaves, and allegedly with some good CO2, good lighting, and good fertilizer, you will end up with uh, purple leaves. Duh. Anyway, really small, which I'm glad, because this will be another good one like the Mini Coin to put in various spots to help fill in uh, any gaps that will be apparent. Then I have the Busa Philandra Red Mini UNS Tissue Culture. So I always like my tissue cultures. Usually get a lot, even though they're still very young. This Red Mini will go great in a few different spots. I want them to kind of highlight different points on the tree. And I might put another one in the rock work if I have anything left over. We'll see in the end. So... Last, but certainly not least, is the Bucephalandra Maya Aquatic, um, which looks like it is sealed shut pretty well. It's going to be hard to open. All right, excellent. Anyway. Oh, darn, I broke the lid. So these are actually kind of neat. These are some different shapes, colors. Uh, I'm intrigued to kind of mess around with this one because this looks pretty cool. So I will definitely be putting this in multiple different spots. Probably one in the tree or maybe two in the tree, one in the rock work somewhere, and one in the flex here. Uh, now... I actually think these look a lot like Anubius Nana Petite. So for those of you who are loving Anubius Nana Petite for that simple, easy care, the bright emerald looking color, uh, this could be another great option if you want to explore some different routes. And I know that Anubius Nana Petite is pretty expensive. These leaves are a little bit bigger, but they do have a very similar shape and design from looking at it right now. Now, how they do down the road or if they change colors, striations, things like that, 
remains to be seen, but at first glance, I would definitely do this as a substitute for a Nubius Nana Petite and other tanks down the road because it was a lot cheaper and uh, I just, I prefer the Buse of Philandra, personally. So anyway, now that is everything. I have finally unloaded this box and I am going to get to scaping this tank in a minute. I have to drain it down a little bit more and then I'm going to get to work so that I can have the plants outside of water. So I'm going to do everything with the water drained down so I can do working with my hands, making it a lot easier on me. And then we'll fill the tank back up, see if anything floats, put it back down, and hopefully we have a nice beautiful finished tree. So here we go. for you this video um, as always a big shout out to Busey plant uh, again great order everything came in looking really good even some Busey philandra with flowers and got some uh, that gave me way more leaves than I purchased so always a great place to go if you're looking for plants so uh, and otherwise, uh, as you saw, the tree isn't completely filled in. I could probably use a little more Busa Philandra if I want to down the road, or uh, let that grow in, or you know, add some Anubias, maybe some Nana Petites in there. I have a couple of different options, but overall, I like the vibe it's giving. I like the way all the leaves look together. Uh, it still definitely gives that tree of life feeling that I wanted. So still pleased with that. I hope things will go well in this tank. I'm a little worried because I think I see some blackbeard algae. So uh, I could be having another problem here in the near future. It just never ends with this tank. Guys, don't get tall tanks. They suck. And um, I probably shot for the moon on this one and did not quite land it. But it's... Uh, it is what it is. Anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video, you found it insightful, educational, you learned lots on Pusa Philandra or just working with these bonsai trees again, um, you know, a like is always appreciated. If you have comments about anything you saw in this video or any real comments in general, uh, you can drop me a comment down below. I will do my best to get back to you and respond as soon as possible. Um, I can try and answer as much as possible on Buse of Lander, but there's also a lot that I don't know and a lot that I'm still learning. Um, anyway, if you're not already subscribed and you enjoyed this video and would like to see more stuff like it, you can always hit that subscribe button and that is greatly appreciated. And if, as always, share this with your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers, the guy down the street, the guy driving his car across the or down the road, I don't care. Um, but sharing the word is great to help me get started. I know I've had some stumbling blocks and 
Um, I have not done my part on the fitness videos, but I'm hoping to start redeeming myself on that front here in the next couple months. Anyway, I'm done rambling. I will see you all in the next video.